mismanagement and rampant corruption by the socialist governments of Hugo Chavez and then of Nicolas Maduro have plunged Venezuela, a country with the world's largest oil reserves, into poverty and economic chaos. Resolving that humanitarian crisis is fundamental for this entire hemisphere. Nicolas Maduro is at the epicenter of any illicit trade that is happening around the world, illicit narcotics trade, illegal gold trade, illegal arms trade, human smuggling. The UN Refugee Agency says three million Venezuelans have fled the crisis in their homeland and are now living abroad. Many have left since 2015. The exodus is driven by violence, hyperinflation that reached 80,000 percent since 2018 and severe shortages of food and medicines. Throughout these years, Russia has been backing Venezuela as a lender of last resort to prop up the country's collapsing economy. Russia called the U.S. sanctions illegal and warned against any military action. Why does Russia care so much? Well, Russia cares because it sells weapons to Nicolas Maduro. It cares because of the huge investments of Rosneft, of the, of the Russian oil company. Reuters reports that in 2016 Maduro signed a deal giving Russia's state-owned oil company Rosneft 49.9 percent of the U.S.-based Venezuelan subsidiary Citgo as collateral for 1.5 billion dollars, cash that Venezuela desperately needed. In total, between 2006 and 2017, Moscow advanced Venezuela at least 17 billion dollars in loans and credit lines, becoming Venezuela's largest sponsor after China. Some analysts say U.S. sanctions will cut off the Maduro government's financial lifeline, but they warn the measures will also cause more suffering for the Venezuelan people. Oil actually accounts for 80 percent of the hard currency that the, 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 the Venezuelan state uses to import food and medicine. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, that, that's food and medicine that is already scarce, uh, and you know, there's a real risk of these sanctions uh, escalating the humanitarian crisis on the ground. While many observers ponder the consequences of U.S. economic pressure and possible military action in Venezuela, it is the people of that country that are bearing the brunt of this continuing crisis. Igor Tikhanenko, VOA News, Washington.